I have made several videos at this point documenting my time using Windows on Steam Deck, which an imperfect solution to fix so many of my problems with the Steam Deck, mainly with game compatibility and just launcher issues I had, which thanks to recent developments in SteamOS that has been largely fixed or going to be fixed very soon. I've been using Windows on Steam Deck for about 10 months, pretty much a year of my time with the Steam Deck has been dedicated to running Windows on it. And about six to seven out of those months have been perfectly functional. Those first three to two months were really a struggle of just really figuring out how I want it to be set up, what software and community made tools do I want to use to get certain things working, or what things I want the Steam Deck to be doing when it is in Windows. And that just took a lot of time for me to really get comfortable, get really get the thing to be what I want it to be. And now that we are well past that point and we're well into me having solidified the Steam Deck in Windows and doing exactly what I wanted to do, it's perfect. It's a pretty seamless solution and it feels like any other Windows-based PC handheld. But after a year pretty much and seeing all these developments and my brief interactions with SteamOS for testing purposes for some videos in the past, what is it like now for me to switch back to SteamOS after almost a year of using Windows exclusively on my Steam Deck? So let's just jump right into this. I finally switched back to SteamOS after a long time and used it extensively. I spent the last two to three-ish weeks, you know, give or take a few days, to run and dedicate my time using my Steam Deck in SteamOS, the way God intended. And a few things stood out immediately. I've talked about and said one of the many qualities of the Steam Deck that makes it so valuable is the ease of use and overall simplicity of SteamOS when you're in the general game mode, not in desktop mode. It is honestly amazing. I kind of forgot how amazing it was I've always said it was amazing, and I always knew it was really good, but after using Windows on the thing for almost a year, that became even more clear than it was when I first got the thing, because Jesus Christ, is Windows on Steam Deck sometimes a bit of a bore to deal with, mainly because of normal Windows issues, which you simply don't have in SteamOS, which just made quality of life go all the way up. And it was a great experience, especially if I was exclusively gaming on the device. It was great. But then I would run into certain pitfalls. I've gotten used to being able to play games on my Steam Deck that aren't on SteamOS. So that was pretty disappointing. I not being able to play Destiny 2 during the Christmas event on my Steam Deck was pretty disappointing. I really got used to playing Black Ops 6 on my Steam Deck while not uh, high quality experience, it still ran pretty decently, especially on the smaller maps. And that was a great time on the Steam Deck, but because I'm running SteamOS, I simply can't play those games, which is a sacrifice you will have to make if you want to keep using SteamOS on the device. And that's just one of the great things about the Steam Deck is that it has the flexibility to let you decide whether that's the case or not. Now on the Steam Deck OLED, there are now available Windows drivers. So you can use the OLED also in Windows. Though from what I've heard, the OLED does have audio driver issues, but I always keep mine pretty much muted, so that wouldn't really bother me personally, but it's important for you to know. I went in blind. I didn't really look up to see if there was anything new or game changing. I just wanted to really take my time to see if I can discover or notice any significant changes to SteamOS since I last fully used it. I'll be honest, pretty much the same outwardly. I couldn't really from the surface tell that anything has notably changed, but that was until I noticed my battery life was going a lot further than it was in the past. I remembered the Steam Deck while not having terrible battery life in SteamOS. It was still better than what it had in Windows, but it wasn't that amazing out of the gate. 
but with recent firmware and uh, BIOS and just overall system updates to the Steam Deck, they've improved the efficiency and have increased battery life, not by a huge margin, but it is noticeable and I'm able to play for like an extra 30-40 minutes in certain games, which is appreciated. And it also improved performance in certain memory pressured situations, which in games like Elden Ring, I actually noticed a little bit of a more stable experience. On top of that, being able to use newer graphics drivers makes certain games just generally more compatible and prone to less crashing. The drivers found on the Steam Deck are darn near like eight, seven months old or something like that. And I had to roll back to even older ones because the newest ones on Windows caused problems in Destiny 2 for me. So that was really annoying. So being able to be on current drivers is very nice, especially when playing significantly newer titles. By that point, I decided to look up what has really changed in Steam Deck since I last been on, and recent changes are coming to launchers and just how pre-launch game situations happen. Much like when you launch Borderlands 2, for example, there is a launcher that opens up that has you control game settings and a few other things, credits and whatnot, then hit play, then you can finally enter the game. Things like that in SteamOS never really worked great. And now that SteamOS is actually like dealing with that issue and forcing developers and whatnot to make it more and just optimized for the Steam Deck, which is really nice to see. And apparently they updated the Linux kernel version from something to 6.5 for improved performance, stability, security, and compatibility. I straight just read that off of the article I was quoting, so I am not entirely sure what any of that means, but hey, it's nice to know that performance has been improved, stability, security, and compatibility is all improved, which is freaking amazing. I really didn't mess around desktop mode at all, really, mainly because I didn't really need to, and even when I last full-time used SteamOS, the only reason why I had to deal with the desktop mode was getting Epic Games stuff to try to work and Minecraft to work on the Steam Deck, which was way too annoying of a task to get to work again because I know the experience has gotten better, I still hate it. I've always been more of a hardware guy, opening and taking apart computers, building computers and, and all that jazz. The moment I have to start dealing with software, I want to jump off a cliff. And I think that's why I really enjoyed my time using SteamOS. It was a great time, honestly. Using it was great. Overall, just reliability of the software was astounding. And just having that extra battery life and better performance in certain titles was very nice to have. But I don't see myself sticking to SteamOS long term. I really like being able to play my games that I want to play that are simply aren't compatible with SteamOS, mainly Call of Duty and Destiny 2. On top of that, I don't really leave my house a lot, so I never really needed an amazing battery life. I just needed one good enough for me to play occasionally outside, but most of the time I'm within arm's reach of a outlet or a power cable to charge the Steam Deck. Even when I leave my house with my Steam Deck, I'm pretty close to an outlet. So it doesn't really matter all that much to me, personally at least. So to surmise the video, after using Windows on my Steam Deck for a year almost, then finally switching back to SteamOS, and having a genuinely amazing time back in SteamOS, it didn't really wow me in any particular way, but the things I had to sacrifice to continue using it, for me, was too high. So I'm gonna be switching back to Windows at the end of this video. Because I don't really need SteamOS. I have everything the way I like it in Windows, and it allows me to do everything that I want to do that the SteamOS by default can't really do. That's mainly play Destiny 2 and have a picture-in-picture -picture YouTube video playing in the corner. It's great because I'm just it's destroying my ADD literal brain. But I would love to hear what you guys think. Have you used Windows on Steam Deck before? Have you switched back to SteamOS if you have? I would love to hear what you guys think down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All the other social media garbage down below. And last but not least, have a wonderful day.